Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss how to fix Safari 403 forbidden error. For example, if you try to open a page on Safari and you see uh, an error of 403 forbidden, so how you can fix that? For this, what you have to do, you have to simply watch this video completely. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So the first uh, thing you have to check whether you have uh, a proper internet connection, which means if you are connected to Wi-Fi, uh, which is working properly a lot. Moreover, you can also restart your Wi-Fi router so that it can be uh, it can work properly. Moreover, the next thing you have to do is you have to simply turn on the airplane mode, and after that, what you have to do, you have to turn off it again after some seconds. And here, what you have to do, you have to simply check again whether the problem has been solved or not. If the problem is still there, uh, then you can go for the next step, which is as that. You have to simply open the settings here. And after that, uh, you have to scroll it down. And you have to click on general. And here, you have to scroll it down until you find the option of transfer or reset iPhone. So here, what you have to do, you have to simply click on reset network setting, which means you have to reset all of your network setting. And after that, the next thing you have to check whether you have an updated version of the iPhone or not. For this, what you have to do, you have to simply uh, click on general. After that, you have to click on software update. And here, what you have to do, you have to simply turn on the automatic update and you have to check whether you have uh, an updated version or not. And if it is uh, there, you can simply uh, download and install the latest uh, version of uh, the iOS. And after that, uh, the next thing you have to do is you have to simply again click on settings. And after that, you have to scroll it down until you find the uh, Safari. So here you have to click on that. And after clicking on Safari, you have to scroll it down until you find uh, the option of clear history and website data. So here what you have to do, you have to select all history. And here you have to click on all uh, clear all history. And after clicking all the history, what you have to do, you have to simply go back and uh, you have to check whether your problem has been uh, solved or not. If the problem is still, uh, still there, maybe uh, that is an error due to the website you are running. So you have to wait for some time so that the issue can be resolved by uh, the website. So hope you have liked this video. If you can look at more videos like this, you can subscribe our channel.